All right, my friends, Nader from the least. Today, I'm gonna talk about something everybody talked about it before, but they never explained you. And they're all wrong. Tell you the truth, they're all wrong. I'm gonna talk about the budget, but not the whole budget. I'm gonna talk about one thing in the budget, which is the oil prices. $70 a barrel, minimum. To make money in the budget, it's $70 a barrel. And I think it's too much money, seventy dollars. It's too much money to make money. What happened? You know, you saw it a lot of times. What happened if the barrel goes to fifty or to sixty or to forty-five or whatever? It's my kid there. So let me explain you how it's gonna work. If today Iraq put their budget, $70 a barrel, it's for the future. It's for the new money, new exchange rate, new everything. They know United States, if tomorrow the exchange rate will happen, will come three to one, they know United States will not pay 221 or $230 a barrel. Nobody in the world will pay that, all right? You know that. So they know if they tomorrow they switch the uh, they flip the switch like you t they tell you, and the dinar become three dollars and twenty eight or forty eight cents or whatever they say four dollars, then know the United States is gonna start pumping money, Europe is gonna buy from Venezuela from all over the world but Iraq. So Iraq will drop their barrels to thirty forty dollars. But if you do the calculation and the exchange rate, if you do 30 times two or 30 times three, that's $90 a barrel. For them, become 90 dinars, 95 dinars a barrel, and they still are making money. Do you see what I'm saying or not? So if they did that purposely for the new exchange rate, when it comes out, Iraq will never lose again money. You never lose again money. Because the dinar will be stronger than the dinar. The dollar, I'm sorry, they will be stronger than the dinar. Stronger, stronger than the euro, than the yen, than, I mean, the pound. Whatever you want to call it. Iraq will never lose money. And a lot of people tell you, oh, oh Iraq got only oil. No, we don't have only oil. We have oil, we have gas, we have energy for electricity. We have tourists. I'm going to put uh, something about tourists. This, uh, this past month, more, I think more than 3 million people visited Iraq. All right. That's a good, good amount of tourists for a small country. Now, don't compare it to the United States. The United States is 50 countries and one country. Don't compare it to the United States. Iraq, it's only 48 million people, 49 million people. Now, if you think about ah, 50 years from now, the number is going to double, but it's 50 years from now. It's not now. United States, same thing. The number is going to double on the population 50 years from now. It's not going to stay at 300 million. No, it will not. It will be four or 500 million, easy. Canada, same thing. I mean, the population just keep growing all over the world, not only in Iraq. So I hear people, oh, the population is going to grow in Iraq. It's going to double in 50 years from now. Well, that's, the, uh, that's life. That's how it goes. And that's why they put the oil at seven dollars a barrel, barrel like that. When they do the exchange rate, and the oil lose, I mean lose, uh, go down in the price, they still make money, even if they sell the barrel at 30, 40 bucks. All right, you got me, guys. Later from the East, I hope you understand what I'm saying. Let me know your comments. Be respectful. And I'm just giving you some news. That's it. All right. Have a good day, guys.